Where is it coming from? Where is it coming from? <laughs> Natalie is back with us on how much should I spend to help me out with yet another video because she is going to be trying out five different blow dryers out for me. Don't have any experience with blow dryers, so what is up with them? In this test, we're gonna have a $10 hair dryer and a $400 hair dryer. So I'm really interested in what is causing this price difference. <laughs> so what I'm looking for in a great blow dryer is something that's easy to use. Okay. So that might mean different heat settings if it has a cool setting the time that it takes to dry my hair, because a lot of these dryers that we're going to be trying out claim to drastically cut down the drying time. And then how effective it actually is at leaving my hair sleek and not frizzy. Now, Nico is going to leave me and I'm gonna go wet my hair and we're gonna get right into it. Goodbye. The first hair dryer that we're gonna be trying out is the Revlon Compact and Light Hair Dryer. So this is my hair wet. My hair isn't color treated or anything. I'm going to use a heat protectant on my hair, but that's the only product that I'm gonna use for each of these hair dryers. Gonna start the timer now. I just think that the Airstream in this was like kind of underwhelming. It was just like sort of a gentle gust. I think that's something that maybe the air shot out faster out of would help drying my hair quicker. I just think that there are definitely better hair dryers out there that have more going for them. I think that this one is just like super simple. It almost feels like a hair dryer you might find in like a hotel bathroom. Our next hair dryer is going to be the Remington Damage Protection Hair Dryer. This is $20, and something that this hair dryer says that it includes is tourmaline, which is apparently a semi-precious gemstone that they crush up and put inside of the hair dryer to emit far infrared heat, which apparently is gonna give me less frizzy and more sleek hair. It has three heat settings and two speeds and a cool shot. It has 1,875 watts max power, which from my research, I learned the wattage is how fast the air comes out of the hair dryer, and that is supposed to speed up drying time. This hair dryer took about seven minutes to dry my hair. The Revlon one took about eight minutes. So already it's better on drying time. And I think that my hair looks pretty good. I mean, it looks pretty sleek. The ends don't look super fried. You don't have that like really bad blow dryer hair going on. It's just a much stronger fan and a lot more air blowing out than the Revlon one. So I definitely think it gets points for ease of use for that. We are here with our next hair dryer, and that is the Babyliss Pro Ceramics Extreme Dryer. So it says it right in the name, this dryer is made with ceramic. And so I looked up what that means. So supposedly the point of having ceramic in a hair dryer is to dry the hair more gently and provide infrared heat, which is going to dry the hair with less damage than a hair dryer that doesn't have ceramic in it. This dryer actually ended up being the fastest that we've tried so far, but it is heavy. It is like very weighty. And my arm, honestly, like I'm weak, but it like hurts kind of from holding it up. And also I didn't expect for it to be faster because like this nozzle, is very small. I do think that my hair looks pretty good. It doesn't look really frizzy at all. I think that's all those neutralized ions. So it did end up making my hair look good and it was fast. Our next hair dryer is the Dry Bar Buttercup Blow Dryer. 
This air dryer is $195, which is a lot of money. This hair dryer is also ionic, so we're gonna have those neutrally charged ions that are gonna give me sleek, frizz-free hair. And it also claims that it's gonna get my hair dry in 20% less time. So those are two things that I'm looking for. So it actually took a minute longer than the Babyliss one to dry my hair with this dry bar one, but the way it's making my hair look is so nice. It's so like soft feeling. The last hair dryer that we're gonna try out in this test is the Dyson Supersonic hair dryer. This hair dryer is $400, which I can't imagine the reason for that price. On the Dyson website, they say that this hair dryer is one of the fastest hair dryers on the market, which I believe and is what I've heard about this. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Where is it coming from? Where is it coming from? Using this was just very strange. It was a weird experience. If I was like using the brush to dry my hair and I put it too close to this, it would just fully stop the stream of air from coming out. What? You hear that? And I'm not using any of the attachments that this comes with because one of the dryers in this test didn't come with any attachments. So I thought it would be more fair to just use the dryer each time. So maybe if I was using the concentrator attachment, it would have been better. I don't know. I just don't think my hair looks $400 worth and it didn't actually dry it that fast. It was about in like the middle of the times of the dryers that I tried, so. I don't know, this is not worth $400 to me. Natalie, how was your week trying out all of these blow dryers? Uh, me and my hair have been through it. Mm. We've been up and down it and all around it. Mm -hmm. And I've got some terrible news about the Revlon dryer oh. in that it's bad. It made my hair a frizzy mess. It took the longest of any of them to dry. And it only had like two settings and didn't come with any attachments. So I would just, you just gotta skip this one. Stick to makeup, Revlon. True. Does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> so that was the worst, but what was your favorite one? What was the winner? The winner is the Remington. The Remington Damage Protection Hair Dryer. This hair dryer was incredible. It took the least amount of time to dry my hair. It comes with two attachments and my hair looked great at the end. Wow! And $20 is such a reasonable amount of money in the range of prices we had to try. I mean, yeah. It's all you need.